Yo, welcome back everybody. Moving on to the next section, we're gonna talk about the continuity of functions. And a function, f of x, is continuous at an x value of a if two conditions are always satisfied. Number one, if f of a is defined, and number two, if the limit as x approaches that value of a of the function is equal to that value of f of a. So for example, let's say we're given this piecewise function f of x equals x when x is not equal to 2, and it takes a value of 4 when x is equal to 2. So let's analyze the continuity at that x value of 2. So if we take that piecewise function and graph it, this is how the graph is gonna look like. So for all the x values that don't equal to, it's gonna be defined by this line y is equal to x. And notice how at an x value of two, there's a hole there because the y equals x piece of this function is not defined at an x value of two. At an x value of two, the y value is four, so we have this point there. So if we're gonna analyze the continuity at this x value of two, we have to go over these two conditions. So the first condition, let's figure out what f of two is. Well, f of two, really simple, it's basically the y value that the function is defined at, and it's defined at, at a y value of four. At an, when x is equal to two, y is equal to four. So we know that f of two is equal to four for this function. And the second condition we have to look at when analyzing continuity is that the limit at, as x approaches that certain a value of f of x is equal to f of a. So the limit as x approaches two of f of x to find that, we have to find the limit as x approaches from both the left side and the right side. And if it's approaching a single y value, then we know that that's what the limit equals. So we can look at our graph and notice that as we approach this x value of two from both the left side and the right side, the function is approaching a certain y value. And the y value that it's approaching, because this line is equal to x, y equals x, then at an x value two, we know that that y value is two as well. So as we're approaching that x value of two from both the left side and the right side, the function is approaching a y value of two. And so because the limit as x approaches two of f of x does not equal that f of two value of four, it equals two instead, we say that the function is discontinuous at that x value of two because the second condition is not satisfied. Even though the first condition is satisfied, f of two is defined, it equals four, the limit as x approaches two of f of x is not equal to four, it's not equal to f of a, it's equal to two, those two values are different, therefore the function is discontinuous. But to prove that it was discontinuous, we had to show these two conditions and show that they weren't equal. So whenever they're asking for you to analyze the continuity of a function, they always want you to prove these two conditions. If they, uh, if they pass, then the function's continuous. If they don't, then it's discontinuous. Yo, what's up guys? Thanks for checking out my channel. Hopefully you got some value from the video you just watched. If you did get some value, big favor to ask you, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Any questions, any recommendations on things you'd like to see, please leave it in the comments section. Also check out the description box below for links to material and content related to the video you just watched. Peace out.